This episode is brought to you by King of Beards. This is my online shop where you can find high quality products that will help you grow a strong, healthy beard that not only looks great, but also will smell great as well. Definitely the people in your life that like to get up and close with you are gonna thank you for this one. These are products that I use personally. The link is below in the video description section and if you use my coupon code KING, you'll get 15% off on your first order. Islam is the world's second most popular religion and Muslims are found in almost every country and city on the planet. And for Muslims, they worship in their religious places known as mosques. And other than being places of worship, mosques actually are also historical places and are related to the development of civilizations in each of the country that they're present in. But did you know that there are some countries and cities that do not have any mosques at all? This is because the majority of the population in those places are non-Muslim and as well as it's partly due to the policies of the government in each of those countries. Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to another episode here on FTD Facts. I'm your host, Leroy Kenton. If you didn't already know, for this episode, I'm gonna be looking at 10 countries and cities all around the world that have no mosques, zero, zilch. Starting with Monaco at number 10. Monaco, well, if you look at the map, it's the second smallest country in the entire world, but it is a sovereign city state located in Côte d'Azur or the French Riviera in Western Europe. In addition, the official religion of Monaco is Roman Catholicism, along with other religious freedoms guaranteed by the constitution. So of course, you'll find other smaller groups of religions in Monaco as well. Now the country does have five Roman Catholic parish churches though, as well as a cathedral in Monaco, which is the seat of the Archbishop of Monaco. Christianity constitutes 83.2% of the religious population in Monaco. Now, it is definitely a place that does have a small Muslim population, but when they have to go and offer their prayers, well, Muslims, they gotta turn to their respective places of living to worship. From there, number nine leads us to the Vatican. There is definitely no mosques in the smallest country on the planet known as the Vatican. Apart from the fact that the country's area is so small, the majority of the Vatican community is Catholic, of course. It is located in the center of Rome and it is the lifeblood of Catholics. Every year, millions of pilgrims come to this country to worship, as well as they seek out the blessings of the Pope. There has never been a mosque built in Vatican City. Therefore, Muslims who wanted to go to the mosque and offer prayers, they must first leave this country. Number eight leads us to Uruguay. Not even the smallest prayer hall will be found here. The country is located in the southeast of South America and the country does not have a Muslim population really. Uruguay borders the Rio Grande do Sul and Uruguay borders Brazil and Argentina as well as it has the Atlantic Ocean to the south. However, the Egyptian embassy in Uruguay provides prayer places for Muslims who wish to worship. So although there's no mosques, people can go to the embassy and you know treat it like a mosque. Next up, we have Sao Tome and Principe. This country is located in the Atlantic Ocean and it is just off the western equatorial coast of Africa. Now, the main language here of the nation is Portuguese and the country has 95% of its population practicing Christianity. And it became truly independent from Portugal on July 12th, 1975. Now, if Muslims want to find a mosque to pray in, well, they definitely have to you know, look elsewhere because you're definitely not gonna find a single mosque as it stands currently in the country. The country in at the number six spot is Slovakia. This is a landlocked country located in Europe and the country is popular for the mountains there, its castles and caves, as well as churches. Now there were around 0.2% Muslims, which is more than 5,000 people who practice Islam approximately in the country in 2010. And not much has really changed when it comes to that total number. 
Now, while there is not a single mosque in the country as it is forbidden by the Slovak government, moreover, there is injustice and discrimination against Muslims in the country. Slovakia is one of the few European countries with the strongest laws against the Islamic religion. The country has a lawful enactment that makes Islam one of the unofficial religions of the country, and the government always carefully chooses which religion to recognize in its territory. The country at number five is Estonia. Estonia is a country located in northeastern Europe and it borders the Baltic Sea between Sweden and Russia. Estonia shares boundaries with the Baltic Sea on the north, Russia on the east, as well as Latvia to the south. Estonia is one of the European countries with the smallest population of Muslims. There is currently no official mosque in the country at all and the Turath Islamic Cultural Center in its capital, Tallinn, is where the country's underpopulated Muslims usually pray. The next country on this list is San Marino. This is a very small country surrounded by Italy and it is said to be the world's oldest surviving republic. Hmm. San Marino was founded by Dalmatian Masons who fled from the Roman Empire in an attempt to evade religious persecution by Emperor Diocletian. In San Marino, the population of Muslims, of course, is very, very small. There is no mosque in the country that can be found, and Muslims frequently travel to the mosques of Forli and Ravenna in neighboring Italy. The next country that has no mosques is Bhutan. The Bhutanese constitution of 2008 and previous laws provide for freedom of religion in Bhutan. However, the government has limited non-Buddhist missionary activity, barring non-Buddhist missionaries from entering the country, limiting construction of non-Buddhist religious buildings, as well as restricting the celebration of some non-Buddhist religious festivals. So no new buildings, including new places of worship, can actually be constructed in Bhutan without the government licensing it. Next up at number two, we have Chikalia, a city in India. It has been said that there are no mosques present in the area around Bushala. In a significant statement, Union Minister of State for Culture, Bhavnaben Chikalia asserted that no mosques existed inside the disputed complex of Bushala. She stated that the complex was a center of religious belief for Hindus. And she said, and I quote, it is an ancient temple. There is ample proof in this regard. There is no mosque here. You know, the number one spot in this episode is Athens. Since Greece gained independence from the Ottoman Empire back in 1832, no government has allowed a mosque to be built in the city at all. It was seen by many as un-Greek, out of place in the country in which more than 90% of the population are Orthodox Christians. But as Greece has become the main entry point for migrants to the European Union, its Muslim population has increased a lot. Some estimates place the number of Muslims in Athens alone at around 300,000, maybe even more, in a city with a population of around 5 million people. And the desire for an official place of worship by Muslims is growing. They're making their voices heard a lot more about this. It is a very big tragedy for us Muslims that there is no mosque here. And this is according to the words by Syed Mohammed Jamil from the Pakistan Hellenic Society. All right, guys, this ends this episode looking at the 10 countries and cities that have no mosques. I'm curious to know down below in the comment section, did I forget any? Sound off down below. And if you made it this far, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. It's always great hanging out with you guys. So I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.